I just, I was like, let me be wild. Let me just, let me shock my enemy and be like, I can be wild too. My bum, by the way. Oh my goodness. My tissue in this jean. Love it for me. Love it for me. welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new my name is biggie 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 everybody's big sister if you're new here this is the hashtag sister squad to become a member subscribe get notified and make sure you don't leave that commenting because that's what we do around here finally the whole the whole but you know around here whenever i promise you a whole you're gonna wait um 600 business days you're gonna have to fill in an abidavid you're gonna have to submit a dna sample you're gonna have to go and patla to the ancestors to beg them to let me freaking shoot the hole you know the vibes already <laughs> so yeah finally guys i'm doing the hole i am pressured to do this hole because i want to start wearing my clothes because i want you guys to have that excitement of seeing the clothes for the first time on the hole as opposed to seeing on instagram or in my vlogs which you've already seen quite a few of these items in my vlogs and i'm sad about that but you don't know where i got them and stuff like that yeah well so this is the fun part where you get to know um where i got the stuff how much i got them for and if you can still get them in store um i think 90 percent of my stuff you should be able to get in store most of them is recently recently purchased things you have seen it in my vlogs so earlier on i had gone to shoot a reel for cotton on please guys if you see my cotton on reels or any reels really just give me a whole lot of love i'm really trying to come up in the influencer space and god has been good he's opening some doors where i'm like oh, really me literally today i got another email from another fashion brand that wants to collaborate i'm gonna meet with them tomorrow hopefully soon you guys will be seeing another reel from another fashion company so excited anyway let's get into the haul okay, let's jump right in we're starting off with accessories um one thing about me that i discovered i think i discovered it this year guys i'm a zaza girl Galerata zaza like guys like i love me a good pair of shades and these days like literally so this is the first shade that i bought i've worn it before and it's like i tried to wipe it right now but I did not win, but you can see the design of it. This one is from, how do I get it without the lighting? This one is from the Jet, and I got it for a mere 40 bucks, guys. 40 Rand, and look how fierce it is. Like, I don't know how you guys slept on it to the point of it being on such a huge, huge sale. But I got this, for, I think it was even 30 Rand at the top because I remember my bill was like um, 10 Rand less than I anticipated. So I think it was the shades that were even further down like 40 bucks for a fierce shade like this i love it a dramatic shade i think works very well with winter fashion and look at it with my turtleneck like i mean again i mean again i decided to spoil myself like guys every time i get paid i'm like what am i going to spoil myself with last month i spoiled myself with era um by djs and clay earrings love them obsessed with them want to wear them every day and then this um last month i bought myself a pair of gal x boy shades which i am absolutely just dying for i'm gonna need these in every color that they have them in they are the chloe shades that's their name like all their shades have names this one is called chloe and it has a little um shades bag it has a, a what's this called is it a pouch i don't know a case yeah it's shades case and it has and then it has a pouch for when maybe you're traveling in it it's also dirty i need to wipe my shades by tong luna and these are the shades they're called chloe and they come in black as well in the black frame and they also come in a bone like a sort of like a soft beige almost cream white type guys look at this branding it screams luxury it screams I've got some money. I've got a little bit of money. You know what I mean? And the quality matches the look as well. It really, really feels like a strong pair of shades. I'm really obsessed with the little details like this. Like this little gold detailing. Like you guys, this is a quality 
pair of shades and it only costs 500 rand and from cotton on i got this amazing beautiful black and white scarf it is so so wide like you can i think it's such a versatile piece i never was a scarf girl but when i saw this online i was like this screams i'm kind of rich i have a little bit of i if you will you'll pick this up um if you watch my vlogs and as i go along in the hall that i like to look expensive without breaking my budget this to me screams i have a little bit of money like this is such a nice scarf um to layer with like if you're wearing a coat then you can let it just hang um near your coat like this around you what do you call it you could just let it hang like this and i think it's just so much fun you can twist it like that you can also wear it as a poncho like this look at that that's that's really cool you could even do like a belt so i got this scarf online at cotton on for only a hundred rand the original price was like 250 if i'm not mistaken and i got 500 rand and the some of the scarves that cotton on go for like 350 guys which is very pricey if you ask me for an accessory but this one is definitely worth it i, I think i would have even bought this for 250 if i had found it on original price but because i have the anointing for saving the anointing for sales i got it 500 rand it's still very much available i checked for balisa the other day because she was dying for it she really wants one and i'm gonna get her one because it's only 100 rand why the heck not Moving on to shoes, one of my favorite items that I hardly buy because they're freaking expensive. Um, this is more of a summer shoe, but I feel like still in winter, uh, I think we can get away with doing like a strappy sandal, strappy sandal heel and a coat or strappy sandal heel and a skinny jean and a bodysuit, like a turtleneck vibe. I did that for Nelly's birthday last year and it really looked nice um so these are the babies these are the girls they've been worn once i wore them last week sundays roundabout i got these from the fashion and i'll put it on the screen i forgot the name of the shop but <laughs> um i got them from patronella she sells these they are so so cute and they're pretty sturdy you guys they are pretty sturdy i will put her handle on the screen i love a strappy heel i feel like it's such a versatile piece like it's a must have piece in your wardrobe and i also like the square shape um what's this i don't know i just like this um square shape vibe i think it's so chic it's so on trend but also this is the type of shoe that can also be timeless so i got these for 300 rand which i think is very very reasonable because yeah these you can find for like 380 to 500 rand at other shops so if you want to shop her uh shop shoes she has some stunning shoes oh my gosh she has some i couldn't even choose i only chose these because i wanted to wear them for the all white but i ended up not wearing them because i figured um i'd be tired i wanted to be really comfortable but they are really 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 beautiful this is also one of those items that have been worn already i wore this maybe four times already because it's so freaking comfortable guys please do like please don't come at me for the size of my shoes first of all these are the type of shoes that are just large in nature even if you get a size three it's going to be big it's going to look big it's going to look like a gum boot. It's like a safety boot you cannot avoid it being big but yes i do have big feet i'm a size six so I should be in mining, I should be in construction, I should be the head of a household, I should be nyateling amatimoni, you know, in the forefront of the destruction of the demonic world. It should be me because of the size of my feet. But these are naturally just like really big shoes. I was just looking at them earlier when I was shooting, I was like, oh my word, these are big. But these are from Cotton On and they are super, super comfortable. I don't want to not, I don't want to not say, um, I bought these not because I wanted these. I don't want to lie to you guys. I didn't want these, but they didn't have a lot of options at the Highfeld Mall store with shoes. So I was like, I have to get a boot. I have to get a boot. So I chose this one and I really don't hate it when I'm dressed up. If you, if you've seen my reel on, from Cotton On, you would have seen that it really does go really well with outfits. It just looks weird when I'm holding it like this, Nati. <sighs> and i'm about to defend myself with the shoe also i should really sleep with this on my bedside everyone should get one of these to sleep with them next to their bedside should trouble come trust 
this is also one item that i've been where i've been wearing this shoe like it is comfortable it is versatile it is cute it is vintage but modern it is trendy but timeless i freaking love this loafer with my whole heart like this camera this is the one that i wiped for a little bit so it's already got like scuff marks and whatever else creasing and dust and all of that i've been wearing it it is from legit i got it in a size five so it does run big usually with closed shoes i am strictly a size six so for this to fit me in a size five it means it runs kind of big so um, I would recommend you to size down on this one. I bought it quite recently. I had it on lay-by, but I didn't keep it for long in lay-by. So I realized that it's not long, no longer available in the Middleburg Mall store, but downtown it might possibly be available and other branches as well. I love this loafer. I got it for like 380 if I'm not mistaken. And I've worn it a couple of times and every time I'm wearing it, I get compliments. I feel like you can't see the beauty of it just watching it like this. You have to see it in an outfit. I'll attach a few pictures of me wearing the shoe. I get so many compliments wearing the shoe. It is super comfortable and it also feels like it's going to be very durable. I feel like it's the type of shoe that I'm going to wear for quite a while. Plus, I, I have a lot of shoes, so I don't really wear my shoes like... But this one... I love this one. I feel like I'm going to keep this for a long time and I'm going to love this for a really long time. It's from Legit. And then I'm saving my favorite shoe and the best shoe for last. Guys, I'm so upset with this shoe. I can't wait to rock it. It's like, I need any bonga. Let me show you what's happening. Okay, they're tied together. Let's just hang them like this. It is so like camera won't do the shoe justice it really won't i will try to take a shot of my feet but i don't have the prettiest feet so you guys won't see the beauty of the shoe but look at that look at the details asana look at the details that little vintage sophisticated feel and then it has this heel that's very very sturdy and very comfortable it's also quite a bit of a reasonable height i like a high heel but this is nice and reasonable especially so i must just lower my my standards a little bit because <laughs> Dombasana is aging these are from Zara you guys I bought them um during my Pretoria trip could not resist I just could not resist like I feel like you guys are not going to see the beauty of this shoe until I wear it it cost me $6.99 which I always think Zara shoes are very affordable like, compared to all the other clothing because you could get a turtleneck at Zara which is the one that I'm wearing right now for like $6.99 and get a shoe for $6.99 it like, doesn't make sense like it's like um I don't know I don't know but I see this like with a jean there's this mom jean that I left there because I didn't get a size um I see it with a mom jean like a charcoal mom jean and a really really tight bodysuit and a tiny bag and a bun and a beat face like I just see myself rocking this shoe it gives me I like it gives me rich vibes and it's only a size six guys I know it's long it looks long because it's a court shoe but it is a size six I promise you Right, now we're going to move on to tops and we're going to start with the one that I'm wearing right now that's also been worn 100 million zillion billion times because it is a black turtleneck and it's a staple and it's comfortable. Okay, it's kind of, it's kind of giving strangling, it's kind of giving choke me vibes, but I'm kind of used to wearing a turtleneck so I really don't mind that little bit of a choking sensation. Um, It's got some makeup on it because I was wearing it also earlier for my shoot, sorry about that. But it is a very good material. It is. It feels like it's going to be a durable one. It doesn't feel like it's going to stretch as I wash it. Um, I got it in a size small. I wish I actually got a size extra small. I like a really, really, really tight fit on a turtleneck. This one is not really that bad. But I would have like, like barely breathing type of tight. But I don't hate this at all. And it cost me... It cost me... 500 rand 499 if not 450 i will confirm with a text right here on the screen the next top is also from zara and it is this beautiful chocolate bodysuit i didn't it is a bodysuit yeah it's a bodysuit i did not try it on um but generally when i buy bodysuits from zara size small fits very very well i love this color guys this color against my skin this color against my skin 
stunning i love it so much and also this is one of those um items that you can it, it's a transitional item you can wear it within winter autumn and even when it's hot like because it's not really a, a warm material it's a spandexy type of material from your general zara bodysuits the ones that i have quite a few of so i just thought why not this color is so gorgeous and this little bit of a detail right here makes it sophisticated makes it dressed up it makes it like something that you can wear for an occasion and i got this and it's got a zip detail at the back um i don't know i don't think the zip is necessary but maybe it's more it makes it more comfortable to wear on the neck area and then i got this one for 499 rand as you know by now i'm absolutely obsessed with this color just as you've seen this is pretty much in the same color tone this chocolate vibe this is like a turtleneck but like a half shoulder turtleneck something that you can wear with a vest something you can wear on a, your on its own and then with maybe a coat or jacket on top this is also a transitional piece as much as it's a thick jersey type of material but it's definitely something that you can wear on a warm day because it is sleeveless and breathable so i love 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 this i got it in a size small and it cost me 420 guys please don't judge my nails my nails fell off and i got this for 420 rand very pricey very pricey i'm sure you can get something different from elsewhere but we buy the quality we definitely by the quality this next top is just a basic black top that i got from superbulous it has been chilling waiting to be worn ma'am it has been chilling waiting to be worn this is also another transitional piece something that i can wear in winter this is big ma'am this is big this is a size small this is literally not gonna fit me yeah, I want to let you unbox the same time because I would have returned it and I feel like it's late now. It probably has been. Guys, did the top not fit perfectly? 30 days, like, I, it's, it's been a while since I bought this. This is big. I'm going to have to give this away. This is really big. I'm going to attach a picture of the model wearing it because I can just tell already that this is not going to fit me. This was on sale for 100 Rand and it's from the brand Superbalist. I can't believe how big this is. I'm so annoyed right and then the next top this one is very risque if it's very risque like bernice is that you mama is that you like seriously you bought that you're gonna wear that like this is very risky for me guys like it's so green it's so busy it's so sheer it's so oh it's so it's it's really a wild card for me like literally i could never have imagined to buy this for myself but um, this is also one of my items that I got from my experience, my partnership with Cotton On. I got it in a size small and it cost 450 rand. I remember the price because it's like, oh, just such a tiny little shirt. Such a tiny little shirt for 450. It's absolute boggers. It's absolutely nuts. But like Zara at Cotton On, we buy the quality, you guys. Um, I feel like cotton on has a lot of trendy fashion and that's why I don't really buy a lot of trendy items I buy more practical items from them, but I I don't hate this at all I love this shirt and it looks so good on me. They have it in black. They have it in black and white They have it in a brown a chocolate brown I wanted to buy it in the chocolate brown if we're being 100 But I had already bought all the other chocolate brown items um, that you just saw so I just I was like, let me be wild Let me just let me shock my enemy and be like, I can be wild too. I can be a snake too. I can be too, you know? So yeah. Now we're moving on to sweatshirts, um, to sweats, basically. This sweat, guys, you've seen it on all the vlogs because I've been wearing like every day of my freaking life. Like, I will die wearing you. A direct translation for those who are wondering what the heck I'm talking about. But it's this one here. It's actually even like dirty. It's got like a little stain because it's worn every single day. First of all, because this color on my skin, I don't have to remind you about this color on my skin. Okay. <laughs> and it's so comfortable. It's very, very, very comfortable. It's also a versatile piece. Like I found myself wearing it with like a jean and a heel boot. I found myself wearing it with like a jean and sneaker. I found myself wearing it with sweats and Yeezy slides. She's, she works. 
she literally works i was even thinking of wearing it with these other pants that i'm going to show you later in the haul that are this color obviously and a heel and it works so well you guys i cannot wait to overwear this sweater i love it so much it cost me 300 rand online because there was a little bit of a promo on the cotton on website by the way guys if you're not familiar with the cotton on website please familiarize yourself i don't think they have an app but the cotton on website always has these 25% off 10% off and for for cotton on 10% off is a lot 25% is a lot because these sweaters range from 500 to 700 rand this one originally is 500 rand so to get it for to, to get it for 300 rand was a huge 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 saving i don't know if they have this cleveland one still but i, I saw they have a virginia one because they have like these different university american university names on these sweaters and i liked this cleveland browns um logo so that's what i went for and then this is also another cotton on sweater i wanted to buy a green one if you watched my last vlog you might have seen me hang a green one on the rail but when i saw this blue i was like Hit you. Hit you. I was not like hit you. Okay, that was a coincidence. <laughs> I was like, this blue is unique. I like this blue because it's gonna look so good, not only with the track pants that I bought, but also with like denim, right? It looks so good and looks so clean. These light um colours that are very I feel like light blue sort of falls into earthy because it looks like the sky. I don't know, I don't want to get like fake deep about it, but I just love this freaking color. It also has a little bit of a, guys, please don't think I'm unprofessional. I was using most of these clothes, especially the cotton on ones for my reels. So you might see some stains, you might see some makeup. Some of them have been worn, nothing looks too new, but all the stuff is still in store. And that's the purpose of this video. So yeah, this I was wearing earlier, I got some makeup on it. I feel so unprofessional guys but if i don't do this today i will never do it i'm sorry um but yeah i'll attach a picture of me wearing it the way that i styled it it is so so cute by the way i also got the brown one in a medium i also got this one in a medium it's also from cartelan this one cost me Ooh, this one cost me 600 rand and the quality is it i don't want to lie the quality is it like it's definitely one of those sweaters I'm going to be wearing for a long time. I might even leave it for my children. Like, if you treat your clothes well, guys, I know that these days they make fast fashion. Fashion that's not so durable anymore. But stores like Zara and Cotton On, if you treat your clothes well enough, you could literally leave them for your children. And then my last sweater, you guys have already seen in my Instagram reel, is this girly here. This one is from Zara as well. I got it for... I got it in a size small and it was i think it was less it was 500 rand or less somewhere around about there i will just confirm some of the prices by looking at the website i did not see this when i went to buy my shoes so i it might be sold out in some stores in the mainland store it's definitely sold out but you might be able to find it online i love this i love prints like i feel like um, if I'm going to continue to shop, which I feel like I don't need to because I've got everything that I need. But I don't Go buy. Go shop. Uh, and I get tempted to listen. I will definitely buy, be buying more prints. I just feel like it's such a nice way to look posh. Like if I bought this sweater in plain white or plain black, it would still look cute. But there's something so posh about a print, especially an animal print it really really looks like expenses i die for the sweater i love it again i'm going to repeat things have been worn you guys this particular pair of jeans um they've been worn quite a bit because i wore them for my shoot on sunday i wore them for my shoot today and i wore them on monday for work so it's a beloved jean it fits so freaking well how can i not wear it like every day of my life to be quite honest it's this here mom jean from cotton on it's a stretch it says it's a stretch mom jean it fits so so well the only problem i have and it's a personal problem it's not a cotton on problem i'm in between sizes i'm literally like a size 33 you guys i'm not a 32 but i'm not a 34 either because this jean fits very well in my bottom area but at my waist it's kind of loose like i wish it was just a bit more you understand 
and also i'm short so it's not that skinny at the bottom it's annoying it's annoying like i honestly i get shocked sometimes when i wear certain things and i'm like i'm really this short i don't deserve to be this short i'm a nice person i work hard you know I, I, like i don't i pray so i'm definitely not i don't understand how i'm at this height that i'm at and i feel like i deserve better you guys the quality is absolutely good it stretches pretty well and it cost me i'll put it on the screen i wish it was skinnier because at the bottom it is not but a mom jean shouldn't be skinny should it not really technically no and then the next pair of jeans are these ones these are also from cotton on these are the original flare jean i really really wanted a flare jean but i wanted a torn one and i couldn't find my size in the ones that were available in store also the ones that were available in store were not stretch so i feel i feel like if i had bought one it would not fit in one area either the hips or the waist it would just be weird so i went for this one because it has a little bit of stretch to it i love this color i feel like i have too much denim in this color though if i'm being 100 but it's got like a flare like like if i'm lost me dar like in the literal like fang me in the hips lost me by the ankles absolutely and i enjoy this jean i really really love it i am however an oompa loompa so they drag quite a lot at my feet and i will probably most um mostly wear them with heels because then i'll be absolutely more comfortable but yeah they look so good on my bum by the way oh my goodness my tissue in this jean love it for me love it for me the next bottom is also from cotton on i was wearing this for my shoots today guys i styled it so nice like i'm such a cool kid like as long as i lose cuts you know like in my spare time i'm pretty cool i'm pretty cool like in my spare time like when i'm not too busy like i'm pretty pretty cool i love how i style this outfit i can't wait for you guys to see the pictures you better give me some love and please say this um i saw this on the haul when you see them on instagram so it is this blue track pants it's like an everyday jogger track pants i got it in a size medium i feel like it's a very loose fit by the way from medium like it fits me like i would expect a large to fit me but i still love the fit because i don't like a tight i really really like a baggy baggy sweatpants so i don't hate it at all my only problem is again i'm a little bit of a dwarf so at the bottom it's a little bit um it's a bit looser than i expected i wanted the band to be like really really but still very much cool very much cool kid i can hang with the two k's like like it ain't nothing this one costs 400 rand which is a bit pricey for track pants but the quality the fit totally worth it you guys totally worth it i love track pants and i have quite a few and i've tried on quite a few from many stores i absolutely love the cotton on ones i would spend the 400 grand it is absolutely 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 worth it then the next bottom is also another item that i bought from superbalist told you guys about it a few vlogs ago this is actually a bermuda short i don't know if i'm gonna even wear it for this winter and i'm already stressed about the size of this waist um it's not too small but also it is not giving me it will fit me <laughs> but by god's grace as i'm googling if god can connect me to work with cotton on god can shrink my hips to fit into this lavender beautiful beautiful pair of bermuda shorts i really really love bermuda shorts i have them in red and i'm really obsessed with the red ones i wish i had them in black as well because black would really really work for winter i don't think this is the color that i can rock during the colder months unless maybe if i do it with like a white look maybe a white turtleneck and my lavender courtship from zara you guys know it already so this is from the brand trendy trendy all or trendy all and i got it in a size 34 is it in a 34 no it's in a 30 it's in a euro this is a euro 36 which is a u.s size 4 which is a uk size 32 so i hope this fits me but it looks wide enough i didn't want it to be too tight but this was the last one in stock i don't think you guys can still find this one um so unfortunately but i think this one is one of the items that i'll be rocking 
in the warmer warmer season these next pants for me i feel like are still out of my comfort zone i don't usually do this type of pant but i saw it and i was like let me do something different you know what i wanted to add a little bit of a trendy kind of look because um for cotton on they have a lot of trendy items and this is one of them for my in my opinion anyway these are these like legging type of pants but they flare leg at the bottom they fit so freaking well as soon as i put them on and i saw my body and i saw my bottom in them i was like okay i i i have one i'll take one i got it in a size small i tried on the medium and it was just way too loose so i got them in a size small and they fit like a glove guys my bum <gasps> i feel like i could catfish so many people in these pants like they're so so good these cost i believe 500 rand i will just confirm on the screen but they're super super comfortable it's more like a legging more than a pant if we're being 100 but they go so well with the shirts that i showed you from cotton on they go well with like a sweater look i saw this one girly um at cotton on actually she was wearing something like this with one of those sweaters i can imagine it with that sweater the brown one that i showed you and a sneaker so 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 freaking cool the last i think this is the last bottom yeah this is the last bottom it's from zara i really really love these pants i'm sorry they're wrinkled they've been chilling in the brown paper bag for the longest time i really love these pants uh, i bought them mostly for the detail that you see here and i like the material as well i got them in a size um small extra small who the hell do i think i am buying it extra small oh my word this makes sense because i tried them on a couple of days ago and they were so tight i was like what the hell bernice i did not realize i was buying an extra small you guys i thought i was buying a small this makes so much sense this makes so much sense i wish i had returned these along with my other stuff then i would have gotten a proper size but i love this and i feel like it's not going to look that pretty because it's not my size but it still fits the point is young and limbs and being young and i'll think about it maybe i'll sell these but i really love the color i think it's a versatile color uti turtleneck a in like a white turtleneck and a brown coat yeah what's in your boy now let's cut me a good dinner with the love of my life ne and he's chilling he's chilly and he's born and he's born yo there's this other girl i wonder where she is I wonder if she is one of my best friends, Mali. She was her roommate. Her name is Boncho. Was it Bonzo? However you pronounce it. She used to talk like my god. Okay, this is totally off topic, but I just like want to say this. Um god and then mama are what the bone bonzo what the bone like as jealous of like you know. So sometimes I, I like mine is bang is yo got the bone and she got the bone. <laughs> Alright, guys. Um that was the last bottom that was the last bottom so i'm gonna show you i think i have one dress and then i'm gonna show you jackets and then we are almost done righty this dress i've already worn you guys might have seen a sneak peek of it in my last vlog i wore it when i went shopping to cotton on and i am absolutely in love with this dress i had it on lay by at legit do you remember when i told you in my last vlog with new kibi lay by this was the dress i saw this when i was with my cousin amanda and she was like you have to get this dress one thing about my cousin she has style she really really has style to think she that she was a tomboy when we were growing up amanda boy tomboy basically but now yo, she has styles him she's like you have to have this dress and this was <clears throat> the last one at the time it was the last one on the racks and it was a it's a size six and i was like you know what because it's a bit of a jersey material and it stretches it's gonna fit me perfectly the way it fits ne, i actually would have even bought a size four for that <sighs> tight look you know i like to look like i can't breathe i already mentioned it earlier because personally i just love the i can't breathe aesthetic i just feel like if it's gonna be tight let it be tight you know if it's gonna be loose let it be loose i think if you pick that up with my style like if i'm wearing like a really boyfriendly look it's gonna be very baggy and if i'm wearing like a girly look it's gonna be i can't breathe i can't breathe <laughs> you know so that's what i wanted with this dress but either way i love it 
um but lisa also has this dress she bought it after me for those who don't know but she actually saw it before me because she told me about it but i just didn't know that she was talking about this dress because she said it like over the phone but she didn't send me a picture and she said she, she wanted this dress like a month ago already and fortunately for her she found the last 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 one on the rack so one of these days you're gonna see us twinning one thing i will do is twin with the people i love i don't even care if you guys think it's tacky i'm gonna do it until i die Alrighty, now we are moving on to jackets um i love all the jackets that i got like i feel like they are i really wanted to get especially this one from cotton on i wanted there were so many options at cotton on to be quite honest i was like very 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 i had mixed emotions about which one to get but i ended up picking this one because i feel like it's firstly timeless it's not a trendy jacket it's a timeless jacket and it's a color it's a neutral color and it just goes with my style like i'm a simple girl guys like i if you've picked anything up about my fashion sense i'm a very very simple girl so i went for this um jacket it is so cute you guys will appreciate it when i put it on because of the lighting you can't see the details but it's just like a corduroy corduroy by the way hello corduroy you making a, a comeback and i love it for you it is corduroy coco's gonna laugh at me when he sees me wearing this gonna be like my daughter hi but i love the detail on this this woody like this woolly thingy is detachable and i love that because sometimes maybe you want to wear it with like a denim outfit and a more chilled outfit i love it it's nice and heavy it's very very warm yeah it's it's ah uh, I like timeless things. I like things that I can wear over and over and over and over again without people saying, mm, know about so much jazzy. You know, you know that one jacket that you have? That's why I like to buy neutral colors because we're going to pinda, 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 pinda. Please don't give me, they had so many beautiful jackets in store, but this one just, this one spoke to my inner being and I love it. It cost me eight ninety nine. Um, but I'll just no. Here's the price. Yep, it cost me. It costs eight ninety nine, and I got it in a size extra small. One thing about cotton on jackets, they run very big. They run very very big. The jackets and the jackets that I tried on in store, they all run very very big. So you want to try it on? Don't just grab it and go. And then, guys, for the first time in my entire life, I have a black coat. Can you imagine? I'm turning twenty. I'm turning 20 so I'm turning 20 whew, I'm turning 20 something older than 21 this year and I've never had a black coat in my whole entire life and that is just that is childish for I'm a teenager I corner uh -uh. no I need to do better I need to do better but anyway we are here now we are doing better this is a simple basic standard coat from zara i like the way that it fits i like the way that it sits on my body but it's very standard very basic very neutral the type of coat that you could wear over and over and over and over again and nobody would come at you for wearing it you can wear it with a scarf you know that dramatic scarf that i bought from cotton on i can wear it with a t like it's just it's just a versatile piece and it costs um 9.99 and i got it in a size medium which i'm happy about it fits very very well it's not the nicest coat at zara the nicer coats at zara they cost like 1.5 1.2 which is not huge which is not a huge difference from this one but i really wanted a neutral one that i can use in a versatile way i'm just trying to think practical next time obviously i go and buy a coat at zara i'm gonna think detail i'm gonna think buttons i'm gonna think cool trendy whatever this here is practical and timeless and then my loves this is the very last piece in our haul i hope so Ooh, i hope so um this is a coat as in like i'm trying to do better the whole this whole thing of having one coat 
for a whole winter it's not on you guys it's not on i'm not saying if you have one coat or wrong because obviously financially as funny and my priorities are fine some people don't even like to shop for winter because winter is a two-minute season it's in and out it's cold in the morning in the afternoon it's warmer so really to invest in winter clothing some people don't really see the need but i think if you buy pieces like the pieces that i'm i was busy showing you today in this haul you can use them over and over again for winters to come that's why i think for winter i would recommend buying from zara cotton on h m um some uh, of the superbulous brands are really good as well so that you can have these things to wear next year because every year around winter i'm like what was i wearing last winter like literally what was i wearing last winter quite honestly and i know that this year i'll be pulling out my coats i'll be putting out my turtlenecks and then the good years in anyway this is a coat from superbalist it's like a double breasted coat i love it so so freaking much it is also from the brand superbalist and i got it in a size eight i love the way that this fits also because it's great something that it can wear over and over again i can wear it with white i can wear it with black i can wear it with gray i can wear it with, uh, i can wear it with a lot of things okay these days in this style these days guys please style <laughs> but honestly guys on a side note i shock myself these days like these days i'm able to put together outfits that i would never imagine putting together from last year and people are calling me stylish and i'm like me me i've never considered myself stylish to be quite honest i don't want to lie to you i always envied my towel my friend my towel she has the best sense of style and she's creative and she's out there and she's like sometimes i'm like but she rocks it, like, you know. So, now I'm in Milan. Watch out for me, baby. Um, I like the length of this coat. I like the quality of this coat. It's thick, but it's also very light. You know, and I, it looks like it's going to be a durable coat. And this one, fortunately, I got on sale for like 400 rand. 450 rand about, I'll confirm on the screen. Unfortunately, it is sold out on Superbalist online. But guys, if I've never told you before about Superbalist, I'm going to tell you again. And I need you to not forget this. Superbalist has sales and specials every single day. It even gets worse on payday. They'll have like 40%, 50% off on certain items, even winter items. And you know how stores always price winter items higher? Superbalist will say... 30% off of coats and that's 30% is a lot you can find a coat worth worth 800 for like five to six hundred rand and that's a huge huge saving considering it's a staple item that's so costly in store and you can also find cotton on items on superbalist on sale that they aren't in store the prices that are not the same in store so if you have never shopped on superbalist please give it a try I know some of the sizing is not always accurate like that top what the heck was that but most of the time, I don't have bad experiences with the sizing. And it, the return policy is so easy. It's user-friendly. The same way that you order is the same way that you return. They are fast, guys. I highly recommend it. Um, free publicity for you, Superbalist. If anyone from Superbalist is watching or gets a whiff of this, please, let's, 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 let's collaborate, guys. I have so much that I love on your store. So, so much. Right, guys we are at the end of this video i hope that you enjoyed it please do not leave the video without telling me which one is your favorite item and which one are you running to the store to check if it is still available i'm sorry that i took so long to shoot this video and that some of the items will probably be sold out but i believe that majority of the items are still available in store for you to cop for yourself um please give me some love by liking this video you guys have been doing so well with the likes and the comments it's really really helping the, the squad to grow because the videos are being pushed out by youtube and then more people are subscribing to the new subscribers please show me a heart in the comment section let me welcome you properly thank you so much for joining sister squad and i hope that you have not regretted your decision to join my little family we are growing and um i appreciate you guys so much i'll see you guys in the next video, video.